So your first drummer was uh, the Peepa, Joe Stumpy Peeps. Great, great. Uh, tall blonde geek with glasses. A good drummer. Great look. Good drummer. Good, good drummer. Fine drummer. What happened to him? Uh, he died. He he died in some gardening accidents some years back. It's really one of those things that uh, you know, it was uh, the authorities said. Yeah. You know, well, best leave it unsolved. Uh, really, you know. And he was replaced by uh, uh, Stumpy Joe. Oh, Eric, Eric Stumpy, Stumpy Joe. Joe. Eric, Eric St Stumpy Joe. What happened to Stumpy Joe? Well, well, uh, it's not a very pleasant story, but uh, he passed. He he died. He uh, he he choked on the act. The the official explanation was that he choked on vomit. He passed away. Well, it was actually was it, was someone else's vomit. It's not. Uh, it's ugly. You know, there's no real. They, they can't really prove whose vomit it was. They don't have the facilities. You, at, you can't really at the Scotland, print. Scotland Yard. There's no way to print spectrum. Well, you can't really dust for vomit. Now, during the Flower People period, who was your drummer? Stolby's replacement, uh, Peter James Bond. He also died in mysterious circumstances. We're playing a festival, J jazz blues festival. What was that? Blues Jazz, really. B blues Jazz Festival. It was in the Isle of, uh, the Isle of... The Isle, Isle of Lucy. Lucy. Isle of Lucy. Isle of Lucy. Isle of Lucy. Jazz Blues Festival. And, uh, it was tragic, really. He exploded on stage. <laughs> just like that, he just went up. He was just like a flash of green light and... That was it. There was nothing left. Look at his face. It's true. This really did happen. Well, there was a little green globule left on his uh, seat. Like a stain, really. It was a small stain. A globule, actually. And, you know, several, you know, dozens of people spontaneously combust each year. It's just, it's not really widely reported. Right. 